Hey boys and girls, happy Wednesday. It's Pastor Julie just wanting to check in to see how your fast is going and how your devotionals are going every day. Don't quit, don't give up. If you've missed a few days, catch up. You can do this. And you know what? It's exciting because you are growing closer to the Lord. You are drawing closer to him. You're learning about him. And that's the best thing about this fast. And you know what else? You're learning some good habits setting aside specific time to give to the Lord every day. If you can learn that now, this will help you through your entire life. Now, I've been working on our calendar for the year. You see over here, we've got Camp Timberlake, July 9th through the 12th. Details for that will come out soon for you parents, but it's an awesome week, right kids? And um, that's usually second through sixth graders. I will confirm that, but usually it's second, graduating out of second um, into sixth grade. Um, and also we have a girls and boys ministry that will be beginning on Wednesdays, um, second to fifth graders to begin with. And um, that'll happen on Wednesdays. And we're gonna kick that off um, the end of February, beginning of March. Um, also, big news, we have Seed Kids Takeover Service February 5th. Woo, woo, woo. It's so awesome because, kids, I know that God is going to use you to minister to those adults. And how exciting is that? The same God that lives in them lives in you, and he is powerful, and he is going to use you to minister to those adults. So I'm excited about that. And on top of that, after the 11 o'clock service, February 5th, we are opening up any child who is ready for baptism, water baptism. We are going to have a special baptism service after the 11 o'clock service. How exciting. I can't wait. So many of you have been asking and parents, you've been asking, and this is the Sunday we are going to do it, February 5th. So mark it down and there will be registration um, online for you to fill out to let us know that you want your child baptized. So you know what, today I am just so thankful for you. You are a blessing to my life and I'm just grateful for all the time that I have to spend with you guys. Now that takes us to our lesson um, that we learned on Sunday. It, this whole month we've been learning on rejoice sometimes. No, you're right, you gotta keep me on track. Rejoice always. In all things, give thanks, for this is the will of God for you. First Thessalonians, what? 5, 16 through 18. So that means in the good times, yes, we're going to praise the Lord. And when things are bad, we're still going to praise him because we know he is going to help us through whatever we're going through. Now, that takes me to the illustration that we had on Sunday. Boys and girls, do you remember the door that we had on the stage that we still have? It was a little house there that had a door. Well, our hearts, our spirit is the doorway to the Lord. That's how we receive from the Lord. Well, when we're thankful and we live a lifestyle of being thankful, it opens the door to God's blessings. How many want blessings in their lives? Yes, but when we begin to complain and whine, it shuts the door. Well, I don't want to shut the door. The devil wants us to shut the door and we don't want to do anything he wants us to do. So when we feel the urge to complain because mom or dad asked us to take out the trash or we didn't get our way, we didn't get what we wanted and we want to complain, resist that temptation and say, no, I am not going to give into that. You're going to be thankful and do whatever God wants you to do, right? That's right. Well, today I don't have an actual assignment for you to do. Are you disappointed? Well, the only thing that I want to ask is if you have spare time when you're not watching TV or playing video games, why don't you create me a piece of art that I can hang on my tree in my office? I would love some new art. So feel free to take advantage of that. If not, no worries. Keep working on your devotional, spending time in praise and worship, and spending time in prayer. And prepare your hearts for our service 
the Seed Kids Takeover Service, Sunday, February 5th, and our baptism service at 11 a.m. So I love you guys. Can't wait to worship with you on Sunday. But until then, I've got a worship song for you right now. So get ready to worship. Love you guys. Bye-bye. like you're reading the Bible again. Which part are you on? Well, I'm reading a story about Jesus. Jesus? The Bible's got lots of stories about him. What's he doing on this page? It's a story about Jesus getting baptized. Only, I don't know what baptized even means. I hear people talk about it at church, but I'm just confused. It sounds like it has something to do with getting all wet. Baptism can be confusing when you first hear about it, but it's something exciting that Jesus wants all of us to do. Jesus wants me to get baptized? Yes, getting baptized shows everyone that you have decided to follow Jesus, that you have made him the leader of your life. Well, I did make Jesus the leader of my life. Remember when you helped me with that dot? You led me through the ABCs. I prayed and I asked Jesus to be the leader of my life. You need to get baptized then. You can follow Jesus' example. I don't know. I've seen people get baptized at my church before. Everybody was looking at them. I would feel weird getting all wet in front of everyone. Can't I just do it at home by myself in the bathtub? 
The whole point is to do it in front of people. When you get baptized, it's your big chance to show everyone that you've given your whole life to Jesus, that from now on, you don't care what people think, as long as they know that you belong to Him now. Oh, I see. When I get baptized, I'm showing everyone that I'm following Jesus now. Well, in that case, I want to invite all my friends from school and my grandma and my cousins and, well, everyone I know. Good, Bouncy. Getting baptized is a big deal. You can show everyone that God has washed away all your sins. Washed away my sins? Well, now I get it. That's why you get wet. Exactly. And baptism shows a picture of what Jesus did for you. Just like Jesus died and went down into the grave and then came back to life, you'll go under the water and come back up again. The old you is gone and you're a whole new bouncy now. Then I want to get baptized right now. Oh, but, but Dot, I'm just a kid. I don't know how. Can you help me? The first thing you need to do is tell the grown-ups that are helping you follow Jesus. Your parents, your leaders at church, people like that. They will help you get signed up to get baptized. You know what, Dot? There's one person that's really important to me to be there to see me get baptized. That's you. You are the first one to help me understand about Jesus. Thanks, Bouncy. I wouldn't miss it. I'll be right there on the front row cheering for you. <laughs>